eight kilometers left of autonomy. We are very close uh, to Antwerp. I mean, if the battery dies, I don't think Ben de Geffen will die, but this will mean that I'm gonna have to pedal him like a normal bike. So, in that theory, Ben de Geffen is still alive. He's still kicking well and alive, even though that the battery might be running very low. So it's exaggerating to say that uh, battery is dying, but I can still pedal like a normal bike, so it doesn't really matter, but yeah, we will see how it goes. But uh, more and over, we're still getting very close to Antwerp. Nearly there, everybody. We're nearly there to Antwerp. Wow. That was a very exhausting journey it has been. And Ben de Geffren is now down to six kilometers. He's really exhausted. And so, yeah, by the time I'll pack him, by the time I'll check into the hotel, I'm gonna recharge the battery and then he'll be fully recovered. And so, yeah, not to worry, because here's the sign of civilization heading towards Antwerp. This is good news. That means we're very close to succeeding. As you can tell, I'm in uh, the Amigo Cafe because look here, I'm now charging my battery just in the corner. Yeah, because Ben de Geffren, my bike, he is so exhausted. And so, yeah, I am decided to stop by and have tea. And so, yeah, it's been a very long journey. And so I drink to that. And in fact, I still got plenty of time until I'll be able to check in uh, to the City Box Hotel because the check-in time will be as from uh, 3 o'clock and so, yep. Here's my gilet jaune and my helmet and everything in my rucksack. And uh, my electric bike is just behind me and especially, yeah, with the trailer. Yeah, we've been through a lot and so, again, once again, I'll drink to that. Mm. <laughs> Okay, we are good to go. We are now leaving the Amigo Cafe in uh, Erdegem. So yes, where I am right now is Erdegem, which is just 21 minutes away from Antwerp. And so, yeah, I did very well to go and stop by at, uh, at the pub where I can have two cups of teas and, uh, and a pint of frutas on the rocks. And so, yes, and now I just charge up to 20 kilometers. And so, yeah, Ben de Geffren is partly good to go, and so, yes, this is what we are good at right now. This is very exciting. We are heading uh, across the bridge. We are about to go across the bridge, across the motorway, so that we are heading into the capital. Well, not the capital, but heading into the city called Antwerp. Yeah, it's been a very long journey, and what I've learned is that whenever I'm going very long country, I can always stop by at the pub or at the cafe. Cover that. I just have two cups of tea and one pint of fruit test on the rocks. Yeah, and one thing is that do not underestimate the kindness of strangers, especially those who work in a pub. Pub, yes, or even in a cafe. And now we are about to go across the bridge. Under the bridge of uh, construction. Here we go. Ow! Here we go. It's a bit bumpy right there. But there we go. Wow. Here it is. We're in the city of Antwerp. We made it. Here's the National Bank. The bank um, in Antwerp. This means that we're very close to the capital. And Ben de Geffren is now down to 16 kilometers left. Low on battery still. But we were charging up by the time we get to the city hotel. And so. Don't worry, Bendigate friend, we're doing very well. We're getting there. This is it, my friends. We're in Antwerp. Woo! We're in Antwerp. This is a dream come true. This is more than 100 kilometers. 
it's been phenomenal. We're getting close to uh, the City Box Hotel. Okay, now it's a red light uh, for the bicycle, but uh, yeah, sooner or later it will turn green. Uh, but we're getting there! Yes, we're getting there! Okay, we are going to turn right, uh, right now because, yeah, here it is, the City Box Hotel. We made it to our final destination, the City Box Hotel. Woo! Here we go. Ah, here we go. Great job, Bunter Cape Run. Woo! This is so good. Okay, switch off right now. Ah, we made it. We made it. It's over 103 kilometers, especially from near St. Vincent all the way to Antwerp. We did it. We did it. Now, time for me to check in. Time for me to relax and to explore around, around the city of Antwerp. Oh, we did it, people. We did it, people. I've just arrived in a hotel without a problem here in Antwerp in the city box. Look here, look at the ceiling, and also here, there's a whole view here. Yeah, I'm safe and sound in the room. You know what? I think I need to go to a local shop to buy myself something special. Something which is related to this one, the Triskelion. I believe that there is this local shop called the Triskel. Ah, now I can go for a walk around Antwerp. Yeah, just walked away from the City Box Hotel because where I'm going now, I'm going to find this local shop where I can find a delicious mead called the Triscal. And so, I'm going to find um, a nice little local shop where I can find it. And so, it's going to be good. Well, the thing about mead is that since I'm a pagan, yes, mead has always been the oldest alcoholic beverage since millennia. The Egyptians know how to make mead. The Mesopotamians knew how to make mead. Even the Romans, the Celts, the Saxons, the Vikings, the Jotvingian tribes, especially the Baltic tribes, they knew how to make mead, especially the Vikings as well. Now, there is um, uh, an American-made mead which is inspired by the Viking mead, and that is made by a Hollywood actor called Dylan Sprouse. Dylan Sprouse made a very special alcoholic beverage of mead called Always. Always is a very interesting piece of mead because I heard that it does have a modern twist to that Viking influencer mead and they say that it's very tasty but unfortunately ever since I couldn't find myself or try the Always mead I'm thinking why not the Trisco? And so I got this ever since I'm a Celtic pagan. And so, yeah, I'm going to find a local shop where I can find the Trisco mead. It's the cathedral, very Christian indeed. Here is a very long tower representing uh, the cathedral of uh, Antwerp. Yeah, because we're in the medieval streets of Antwerp. You could tell from, from uh, the size of these uh, streets. And especially, you can see the historical buildings over there as far as architecture is concerned. And so, yes, it's pretty amusing, isn't it? Because Antwerp is a very historical city where it existed since Roman times, before the medieval era. And uh, it's centuries right before 1914, where Antwerp played a very big role in World War I in 1914, when the Belgians, the French and the British fought against the German Empire. And uh, there has been a desperate uh, sort of defense made, done by the Belgians and also by the British Expeditionary Force. And which is the reason why there are so many forts around the outskirts of Antwerp. Um, fighting against uh, the German Empire in 1914 and so we all knew what happened. So that's a bit of history what happened in Antwerp. The tattoo studio is, and especially with this historical building, I think here this is where they should sell the Triskel. I hope. I hope it is. But if they don't, 
I'll be slightly disappointed. Okay, let's just find out. The bad news is, no, they don't have any Trisco, so what a disappointing. That's very disappointing because I was told by this guy who actually used to run the shop called Trisco that they sold out all the meat and so yeah, I mean, business has gone busted, really, along with our oh, wives in Brooklyn, New York. I mean, how many midori is there left? I mean, I really hope I could uh, find some places where they might have some meat, but never mind. So far, I think that the meat in Lithuania, for what I've tried, in Gorge Hillford last weekend, big shout out to Stasis, it's so far the best, the best so far. And so, yeah, but bad news, for the Celts like myself, uh, pagan Celts like myself, who really love the meat, but then, yep, it's all been sold out. Right, well, I think I'm gonna find somewhere to eat because I'm starving, because, yeah, it's been a very long journey, and so, yeah. Thank you very much, and hopefully you liked the video, and stay tuned for tomorrow for Amarante Concert. And one more thing. Since there is no Triskel anymore, there's always will be a crystal here in Antwerp.